Welcome to Eternal Mena, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. And we are glad that you have joined us for another week where we can look uh, into the book of Psalms and learn from the experiences of the psalmist. We are looking at Psalm 39, and uh, today we want to look at verse uh, 12 uh, and uh, 13 and 14. It's actually Psalm 38, verses 12 to 14. And just to refresh your memory, uh, this is one of the penitential Psalms where David is uh, de deeply uh, repenting over his sin. Now in verse 12, he describes his enemies in five ways. And let me highlight that for you. Those who want to kill me set their traps. Those who would harm me talk of my ruin. All day long, they scheme and lie. So the first thing we can say about the enemies is that they are spiteful and cruel. They want to kill David. Secondly, they are subtle. They are going to set traps so that David will fall into one of these traps. They are subtle. Thirdly, they are deceptive because David says they lie. And fourthly, they are relentless. They won't give up because the verse says all day long. And then uh, fifthly, uh, he uh, says that the enemies are very vocal. They are talking and they are talking about David's ruin. So as David describes his enemies in this fivefold way, how does David respond to his enemies? And how should you and I respond to our enemies? Verse 13 and 14 provide the answer. Verse 13, I am like the deaf who cannot hear, like the mute who cannot speak. So here are the two D words. David became deaf and dumb, deaf and dumb to the enemies. David kept himself in check. He was not going to listen to what they were saying. He refuses to retaliate with words. And you and I know how often we mess things up by our words. We say things reactively, and then later we regret that we have uttered those words. So let me recommend to you uh, the DND, &D, to be deaf and dumb. When our enemies are most clamorous, it is generally our prudence to be silent or to say little, lest we make the bad situation even worse. Now, verse 14, he continues on the same vein. I have become like one who does not hear, whose mouth can offer no reply. David says, I have become. That means it requires self-control and discipline. By nature, we all want to react. We all want to do something and to say something in the face of hostility. But David says, don't go that route. Uh, be deaf and dumb. And when we do so, we are going to imitate our Lord Jesus. Because the Bible tells us the Lord Jesus was as a sheep, dumb, there you have that word, dumb before the shearer. And when he was reviled, he reviled not again. He was silent, deaf and dumb. So what better example do we need than that of the Lord Jesus Christ, the righteous one, the sinless one, when he hung on the cross and when there was all this accusation and railing against him, he chose to be deaf and to be dumb. Let us not render railing for railing. We are all going to get tested. We will be tested by life. 
And when you and I seek to live for the Lord, the enemy, the devil, is going to raise those who are going to try and make life miserable for us. There are going to be enemies, sadly. But it is a big test for you and for me as to how we respond, how we react in the face of uh, the enemy's taunts against us, railings against us, false accusation against us. Let's be deaf and dumb. And only the Lord can give us grace to be so. Because by nature, we just want to speak it out and we want to do something. But let's be deaf and dumb and let's trust the Lord to uh, honor us, to vindicate us, and to glorify his name. May the Lord bless you today as you go about your work and may you sense his presence. Amen. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.